I hope you're great. I did a thought exercise today that I found fascinating and really helpful. And I hope you're gonna find it valuable and interesting as well. And I asked myself a theoretical question. I asked myself if I could give someone five pieces of advice before I die. Let's say I was on my deathbed. What would those five pieces of advice be? And I took this question and this intellectual challenge very seriously. I might come up with many other pieces of advice, but here are the five pieces of advice that came to me that I offer to you humbly and in the spirit of service. And I've distilled the five pieces of advice that I would offer to someone on my deathbed for a life soaringly, beautifully, creatively, productively, majestically, bravely lived in five words. First word would be trust. Trust your opinion versus listening, listening to the chattering voices of other people and take the stones critics throw at you and build them into monuments of possibility that stand testimony to the power of your humanity. Trust, number one. It's the first word. Trust your opinion. Trust your instincts. Trust the moves you want to make. Trust your values, even if you're an army of one alone. Trust your higher power. Trust that you can get through difficult times. Trust that you can scale your personal Mount Everest, even if no one believes in you. Trust, trust, trust. Trust that you can find the solutions to your problems. Trust that you can do mighty things. Trust. Second word to represent the second piece of advice I give on my deathbed would be after trust, it would be grow. There's such power in personal improvement. I saw a comment section of an online newspaper and someone was mocking the idea of self-improvement, but Michelangelo's David in Florence, Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata, Jonas Salk's vaccine, the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel, Da Vinci's Mona Lisa, the Taj Mahal, those were all examples of self-improvement. Our civilization has got to where it's at right now through the progress of people who improve themselves by reaching deep within themselves and saying, I am more than I currently am, and I have a vision, and I will materialize it when it's easy, when it's hard, when it's dark, when there's sunshine, when I'm doubtful, when I'm confident. So the second word representing the second piece of advice I'd give if I was dying, let's say, would be grow. Use each day as a platform to build your knowledge base so you can deliver more value. Use each day to grow in your self-awareness. Use each day to grow your muscles and your physicality. Use each day to read and pray and meditate and journal so you grow into your and glorify your greatness. Third word would be protect representing the third piece of advice I'd give if I was dying, or let's say on my deathbed. And protect simply means you work hard to get the fruits of your labor, protect them, don't blow them, don't squander them. I've worked with, as the mentor of so many of the world's most successful people, and many of these people, or some of these people, what they do is they get to the mountaintop and they fall into the fatal flaw of thinking that the success will last forever. And a few seasons later, it doesn't, and they're empty. Protect, protect the things you've earned, protect your family, protect yourself, protect your vision. But that third word is really protect, protect what you've built and grow it. Fourth word would be invent. It's, it's, it's to me, it's a beautiful word. The fourth piece of advice I would give if I was dying would be invent. Leave the safe harbor of the known because it's the most dangerous place to be. Hug your monsters, embrace your dragons. You will realize you have been limiting your life based on a series of illusions that were taught to you and programmed into you and that were brainwashed and heartwashed against your genius. Invent, 
Go blue ocean versus stay in the safe harbor of Phenome. Ask yourself, what product, service, magic can I bring to the marketplace that no one else is daring to do? Don't copy, create, invent, and invent your life. Once you are at a place where you know all the answers to your biggest questions, tear it all down. Reinvent yourself. Move to a new country. Start reading new books. Try a new business. Become a new person. Invent is what I would say. Never stop improving. That acronym I've been teaching, NSI, never stop improving. Maintain that white belt mentality. The thing about a master is she never thinks she's a master. She always operates like a beginner. Final, the fifth word I would offer to you with great love, respect, and faith in your brilliance. Serve. Serve. It's the formula for happiness. Find a cause that's larger than yourself and donate the remainder of your life to it. Serve. Meet someone on the street, try to make them, leave them better than you found them. Serve in your business life. Be a servant leader, servant hero. Ask yourself, how can I deliver magic and value to them? Serve, serve your family. If you have children, grow your children, develop your children, inspire your children, your significant other. Help that person become the person that they're meant to be. Serve the world in your own unique way. That would be my advice to you if I were dying. If you'd like me to mentor you over the next 30 days to create the single greatest year you've ever experienced in your life yet, if you'd like me to mentor you on a system that will help you make your high value targets come true and become real, if you'd like to be much more happy, positive, brave, confident, productive, prosperous, and of use to the world, that I want to tell you I've built a, an amazing digital program based on my worldwide number one bestseller. This is the 25th anniversary of it, edition of The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari, a book that has helped millions and millions and millions of people transform their life. For years, people were asking me to build an online course based on the information on the book. I've done so. The online course is so much more advanced than the ideas in the book takes it all to a completely new level with a very world-class curriculum and completely new insights. If you want one of the very limited memberships, we, my team has opened up the course a while ago and have been releasing blocks of memberships. The memberships have, that have been released so far have sold out at record pace. And the clients who are currently in the program are absolutely blown away by what they are learning and the gains that they are experiencing. If you're interested, I would love to be of service to you. I'm offering the monk who sold his Ferrari method at an extremely special introductory price. So it'll make it easy for you to get into. I put all the risks on, on my shoulders with a 100%, no questions asked, money back guarantee. If you don't love the course, think it's amazing, find it incredibly valuable and worth much more than you've paid for it. You get your money back, no questions asked. So there's no risk whatsoever, just trying to help and offer you an extraordinary learning program that will help you make this year the greatest year of your life yet. So get your membership below while you still can because I really recommend that you do it because it'll make such a difference for you. And remember the five words that represent my five pieces of advice that I would offer if I was on my way out. What were those words? I think you know them, but it's trust and it's grow, protect, invent, and serve. Talk to you later. Bye.